This season, Salford City won the National League North title. They stormed to it, getting 91 points up to the National League. In fact, that was their third promotion in four seasons under Anthony Johnson and Bernard Morley, the joint managers at the club. But this wasn't enough for them to keep their jobs due to irreconcilable differences and terms in their contracts relating to the contract length and performance related matters. We're gonna delve deeper into this, find out why they have left the club in this video. So if you're around here and wanna find out more information about different stories like this one, remember to hit that like button and subscribe. So Johnson and Morley, or Bernard and Jono, as they are known, they are a young management duo. They are joint managers at Salford City. They joined the club back in the early months of 2015 from Ramsbottom United after guiding them to the league title in the Northern Premier League Division 1 North in the 2013-14 season. They've got quite an aggressive approach to management. They do like to make their feelings known to their players and they try and get the most out of their players through that method. They play a particularly, not a particularly nice style of football, but it gets the job done. So in that second half of the 14-15 season, they did take Salford to promotion. They won the league title and they moved up to the Northern Premier League where they also got promoted at the first time of asking, this time through the playoffs finishing in third place and getting up to the National League North straight away. Also during the 15-16 season, they took the team to the second round of the FA Cup, a fantastic achievement, and that was carried in to the following season, the 16-17 season, their first season in the National League North. They did finish inside the playoffs in fourth place, they did go out in the semi-finals of the playoffs though, unfortunately, but still, as a first season in the sixth tier, two promotions in two years, going into the playoffs in a higher league, that's a fantastic achievement for the club. They followed that into the current season that has just finished, the 17-18 season. At the start of the season, the club moved into a full-time model from part-time. The managers left their full-time jobs and became full-time managers of Salford City from the 1st of April. Basically, the two of them, they both took overall pay cuts, so the money they were getting from Salford, plus the money that they were getting from their full-time jobs. They were overall on less money to stay at Salford for this current season. On the documentary, the Class 92 documentary, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen, there was quite a lot of this, quite a lot of the documentary was centering around the fact that these two both wanted more money than they were being offered by Salford, and Salford were actually considering getting rid of them last season, but they did manage to get to an agreement and they stayed for the 17-18 season. A fantastic season. They won the league, 91 points. Now the contracts that the two of them both had signed back at the start of the 17-18 season were two year contracts. But obviously being only one year into them, if you take it into account the time at Ramsbottom, they've actually had four promotions in five seasons. And that literally, that's gold dust in terms of management. It's a fantastic achievement for them to do that. Such a young management duo as well. And Salford, where do they go from here? I'm not really too sure. The reason that the management duo did leave were due to irreconcilable differences in the terms of their new contracts. So this was due to their contract length and due to performance related matters is what it stated as on their website. In their time at the club, John and Bernard have seen the attendances at Salford matches rise from in the 14-15 season an average of 383, so less than 400, that's over quadrupled, to over 1,600 in the 17-18 season. They've also seen a lot of developments of Moor Lane. Started off as a very, very stereotypical non-league ground, but now it's quite a modern ground. It's got a higher capacity, it's got four new stands. Look at it this way, if the club had a management team budget, so let's say manager and assistant manager, if they had a budget of, for example, £40,000, where the manager would be paid £25,000 and the assistant would be paid fifteen. pounds If you look at it as John and Bernard's perspective, they both want the same amount. So they'll only be able to be paid 20000 each, but if that's less than what they were on in their full-time jobs, and they're gonna want more. So they're gonna want the same amount as a manager at another club with the same financial stance. So if they both wanted that 25,000 each, so they both wanted that manager's salary rather than 25 and 15, that's taking the management team budget up by 10 grand and it's gonna be overall more expensive for Salford. So I think that's what this has boiled down to. They've left the club because the club doesn't want to spend more money than is necessary on the management team. So now it's a case of where does the club go 
forward in terms of the management department. Do they go with the manager and assistant manager model? It looks like that's what they're going to go with. I think if they're going to stay with joint managers, they would have kept Jono and Bernard. Now, one of the things you might be thinking, could Jono or Bernard have left? I think the way that they work, it's a case of you either have both of them or none of them. They both work together. They don't want to be a manager and assistant manager, they're joint managers. You could look at it this way. Could they be off to another club? The Chesterfield job is one that I've seen them linked to. But anyway, back to who they get as a replacement at Salford. So do they go with a young and up and coming manager or do they go with a more experienced manager from a higher level that's going to come down to the level? Do they want to go with, go with one of their owners? Gary Neville, Phil Neville and Ryan Giggs are all quite busy at the minute. So that leaves Paul Scholes and Nicky Butt. Could one of those two or both of them take this job on potentially? So let me know what you think of this whole situation in the comment section down below. Who do you think the next manager of Salford City will be? Where do you think that Johnny and Bernard will go? Will they stay in full-time football? Will they move to another job at a higher level potentially? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this one. Hope to see you in the next video and thanks for watching.